Hello friends and YouTube subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane with another exciting video. It's all about ketogenic diet. Of course, we're going to mention low carb diet. Isn't the same thing? Let's have a look. Can I please ask you a huge favor as well? While you're here, can you please hit that red subscribe button and then hit the notification button so you won't miss any of my new videos? And this video will be coming from one of the series. Trust me, I'm not a doctor. Please understand, I'm not a doctor. I'm not going to prescribe you anything. I'm not here to cure anything. I'm here, simple guy that just read a lot of research papers and trying to translate it to plain English so people understand better how to understand what doctors say from their opinion and help themselves with health, nutrition and other life hacks. All right, without further ado, let's start. What is the difference between low carb and ketogenic diet? Well, both of them low carb diets. However, ketogenic diet supposed not to have carbs at all or very minimal carbs. Why is that? Because if we consume carbohydrates, it will convert in the bloodstream into glucose and then glucose will trigger insulin and that would prevent liver to develop ketone bodies. Glucose and ketones are in collision path. So while good glucose in the blood in the bloodstream, we won't have ketones. We can be briefly in and out of a ketogenic diet for a brief time, but if you would like to get most of the benefits of ketogenic diet, you do need to be in ketosis most of the time. So a low carb diet will mean a low consumption of carbohydrates, but no restriction for how much and it does not restrict you how much protein and fats you would consume. Ketogenic diet, would say low or no carbs, usually less than 10 grams of carbs a day. Most of those carbs should come from fibrous food. So for example, if you consume, let's say 40 grams of carbs and 30 grams of those 40 would come from fibrous or food of fiber, that means you can subtract it completely and, and left with 10 grams of carbs because fiber is not digestible item so it cannot be counted as a carbohydrate also ketogenic diet presumes high fat consumption please not we're talking about good fats because people sometimes getting confused that keto is all about eating any sort of fat that is not true and I touch on it later. Please stick until the end of the video so you won't uh, damage your health moving to keto diet as many people would do and then getting discouraged. So ketogenic diet presumes uh, between 60 to 75% coming from fats, uh, rest would be protein and very little carbs. A low carbohydrate diet would mean low carbs and whatever amount of protein and um, and fats so low carb diet is not that good for people with let's say fatty liver when people got fatty liver disease um, they probably got some kidney damage as well so high consumption of protein may be um, really um, dangerous for those people that's why I'm trying to differentiate between low carb and ketogenic diet. Ketogenic diet is actually designed to address most of the inflammation, address diabetes, address fatty liver disease, and other things like brain fog, autoimmune conditions, and things like that. How? Let's think how our body functions. Where do we what do we get energy from? So normal Western diet or any diet, if you don't do anything special, would con would would be um, consisted in a lot of carbohydrates. Those carbohydrates will convert to sugars, and sugars will go to uh, cells, and cells would consume them for energy. What will happen when it happens? That energy will create oxidative stress. Oxidative stress will um, leave a lot of 
uh, debris and rubbish in the system and result in inflammation. This is why people obsessed with antioxidants to reverse that oxidative stress that glucose and fructose cause into the body. With ketogenic diet, because there's no glucose, a very little glucose in the body, ketones do not cause that oxidative stress. What happens with the ketogenic diet, liver produce ketones and then uh, ketones go on into the uh, consumed fat or stored fat. They oxidize in fat storage for energy and then burn energy. And by the way, fun fact, brain prefer ketones for energy uh, rather than glucose. So you may notice if you eat lollies or whatever, you feel like you got more energy and then you got that crush that you become hungry, become, um, uh, you know, um, lethargic. That's the result of brain not liking those spikes. So if you can make consistent amount of energy through your day, through your life, that's what your body like, that's what your brain like, you'll feel a lot more power. Also, on top of the low body inflammation, I would like to uh, address diabetes a little bit. So I don't want to touch diabetes type 1, but diabetes type 2, most of the time it's man-made disease. It's a poor diet, it's a poor lifestyle, and ketogenic diet totally addresses it. In most of the cases, you can cure diabetes type 2 or at least lower severity of type 2 diabetes. How? Well, you don't have any glucose spikes. You don't have problem with insulin. When you don't have those problems, diabetes basically disappears, goes away. Diabetes basically uh, inability of body to um, consume sugars, which is basically called and 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 call insulin resistance, right? So if you don't have those sugar insulin problems, basically body doesn't have diabetes. Simple as that. I don't want to touch any autoimmune conditions, but a study, a latest study shows that most of the autoimmune conditions severity could be addressed with a ketogenic diet. Also, there's a side effect from ketogenic diet that many love. It's weight loss. Why? Because you always have body fat. Um, even leanest people will have five, six, seven percent body fat. So you've got consistent supply of food to your body. And that means that you become in fat adapted and any time that your body requires any energy, it would easily find it. It wouldn't ask you for food to get that energy from. So ketogenic diet ensures less inflammation, less oxidative stress, less disease, less fatigue, all those good things and by the way you may lose weight if you do it right what is important though not to do what many people do do dirty keto what's the difference between dirty and clean keto I guess same differences between dirty uh, vegetarian diet and clean vegetarian diet let's say what's a dirty vegetarian diet well would you consume Oreo biscuits um, as your single point of food or a biscuit is vegetarian you may say like I, I do consume that I'm pretty sure your body would uh, would be starved of, of nutrition in a weeks or maximum month time and organs start shutting down that's the dirty vegetarian diet same with keto bacon and eggs not on the source of ketogenic diet so when you think of uh, ketogenic diet think of quality fats think of quality proteins Think for if you're thinking about uh, carbohydrates, think of uh, leafy greens, of cruciferous vegetables. And you will see if you do ketogenic diet right, you will get also better sleep. As another side effect of ketogenic diet. Anyhow, if you'd like me to address a little bit more um, foods and fats that need to be consumed during ketogenic diet, please comment down below. And if you like this video or any other videos on my channel, please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification button, and let's promote the good health and good lifestyle to many other people. Thank you so much for watching. Greg from Brisbane. Until next time.